So here we are inside of a cell's nucleus. Obviously, we've shrank down quite a bit to be able to fit in there, but as you can see, it even says we're in the nucleus. Um, and this is the original DNA strand in our nucleus right here. Um, now, my job is to copy, we're, we did replication last week, so we're not doing replication. We're not trying to get an exact copy of this. Now what we're working on is getting the code so we can read the code. Well, let's see. I've been given some tools. I've been given tape. I've been given um, four sets of cards, A's, C's, G's, and U's. And I've been given a strand. So my job is to copy the left side of this DNA strand with what I have. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. So I have a polymerase that's going to come in here, and we know what polymerase is going to do. It's going to start uh, copying all of these base pairs. So I still have a polymerase that's coming in and doing that. Well, I'm only interested in the left side. This is the one that I'm trying to copy. So I'm going to completely ignore this one. I'm only interested in the code on this side. So let's start copying. T. That goes with A. We already know that. So we know that A is going to be first on my list. Next up is A. What goes with A? T. Uh, I have A's, and I have C's, and I have G's, and I have U's. I don't have a T. Okay, we'll just skip that one and come back to it. All right, C. We know G goes with that. It's easy. But we know we need to leave a little space here, right? Because we've got to figure out how to get a T. Okay, next up, we're, what did we just do? We just did this one. Now G, we know C is going to go there, that's easy. And then I have an A. Wait a second, back to that same problem. I don't have a T. We'll skip the A. C, that's going to be a G. But we've got to leave a little gap here, right? And T is an A. And G is a C. And two A's in a row, but we're back to that same problem. I don't have any T's to match with them, so we'll leave two gaps. Uh, then we have two T's, so that means we're going to have two A's. We've got to leave a big space here for whatever is supposed to be there for those T's. Okay. Well, tool-wise, all I have left are four pieces of tape and four U's. And I've got, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four gaps on my strand. Maybe I'm supposed to just put these U's there instead of T's. That's all I have. Okay, we'll try it and see what happens. left hand strand. 